Hey guys, it's Caleb from Rockbox. Today up on the lift, we have a 2017 Volkswagen Passat. Uh, we're just gonna take you along for the ride and show you how to install our mud flap kit. Here we have the front laid out. What you'll get in your kit is the front flap and the hardware. We'll go ahead and put that list on the screen right now. Here we have the tools needed to install your kit. The tools that will be needed are an eighth inch drill bit, something to mark with, a level, a T25 Torx, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. Now we're at the front fender on the vehicle. What we're going to do is remove these two OEM screws right here. Um, if you don't have the OEM factory splash guards, you will need to drill a hole right here and in here. And we're just going to use the mud flap as a template to mark those holes. And then also, the ones without that OEM splash guard will have this lower protection especially on like the R lines that has this side skirt trim. If you want to remove that to make for a more flush install, you'll just have to remove this screw and the pop rivet on the bottom. But for this install today, we're just gonna go ahead and install it over top. So let's go ahead, grab our flap and get to marking. So now we're just gonna take our flap before removing those and we'll kind of use those as a guide. We'll align them, align the heads of those screws with the holes here. Now we're just gonna take our marker and we'll have this set to be basically adjusted all the way out. And then we're just gonna mark the liner right there and all the way in here. And there we go. Now, before we drill our holes, we're going to take our clips and set them over the marks. Um, using the clip is our actual hole template. We're just going to set the height and location with the dot. But the clip might not actually reach all the way in. So now that shows us where the slot will need to be. We'll go ahead and drill the center of that insert. Same with the bottom. So now we'll take our drill and just drill through the center of both of those. T25 we remove those OEM screws and we're also going to prep all of our screws with washers. To begin mounting we're going to take the skinnier and longer of the screws and those are going to go into the OEM inserts. Go ahead and get those started by hand. Now we can move on to the shorter screws are a little bit thicker and those are going to go into the metal clips that we placed. Now that we've got those all started, we want it just so that it's just barely loose. We'll go ahead, adjust it in and out, grab our level. Go ahead, set our angle, and then we'll lock our screws down. set and we've got all those screws locked down that's how you install the front you can repeat those same steps on the other side now let's move on to the rear here we have the rear laid out what you're gonna get in your kit is you'll get your rear flaps for that corner 
and then the hardware we have laid out here we'll go ahead and put that up on the screen now before we get to installing on the rear on the bench we're going to go ahead and prep our large l bracket with the metal clip provided you want to put it on one of the arms they are equal length arms so you can pick and choose which arm it goes on and just make sure that you orient it like so when installing so now let's go ahead get to the car get the oem screws removed and then we'll go ahead get started mounting this and mount the rest of the flap we again we're going to start with the bottom screw right here that goes into the liner we're going to remove that screw After removing this bottom screw, we're going to hold on to it and we're going to reuse it. It's going to mount our bracket in place. Now we're going to move into the fender and remove the two OEM screws right here and right here. Alright, now with that removed, we're going to grab large help bracket and mount that on the car. We'll take it, place it so that the clip is facing upward and we're going to slide it between the liner and the bumper, aligning the holes and putting that OEM screw back into the insert. angle it so that it's facing the tire and so that it's straight and then we'll tighten that all the way down. Now with that in place we're going to come over to the bench and prep our screws with washers. We're going to change our bit to a Phillips head bit. And we're going to start mounting using the shorter, fatter, uh, three-quarter inch screw with a washer. And that's going to go right into that metal clip on the bracket. Alright, just get that lightly started. Now we're going to grab our inch and a quarter screws with washers. And then we're going to place the 15 millimeter spacers between the flap and the fender liner on the inside of the flap. And just align that with the OEM holes where we remove those OEM screws. And we're just going to screw right back into those, repeating the same steps for the upper hole as well. Grab our level, check our adjustment, get it right to where we want it. And we'll go ahead and lock these down. With those locked in place, that's how you complete the install. Repeat those same steps for the other side, and thanks for watching.